Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm doing a vintage uh, VR for uh, James at Elite Hunters. Um, he had a discussion with Saul at BD Kane and he wants us to tell us why we prefer vintage, why we collect vintage. And I guess the main reason is it, um, I guess it's the history of the game. Um, but different cards, you know, spark memories. Like my dad's cousin once told me that my great grandfather used to sit by the radio and listen to Joe Lewis fights. And um, because he once boxed back in the 1890s, I was able to find um, newspaper articles that had him listed 165 pound hit heavyweight fighting in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Um, so a card like this Joe Lewis card. That card makes me think of my great grandfather. And um, a lot of the, I, mean, I started collecting in 1967. So these are the players that I saw play. Um, takes me back to memories. I remember um, that long all-star game. I don't remember the year, but Tony Perez hit a home run in extra innings to win it. And uh, we're all out in the back alley playing catch or maybe a pickup game. We always played in the neighbor's yard across the alley there. Um, but just going through a lot of that, a lot of the stuff that I collected. And I read a bunch of my dad's uh, sport magazine, magazines, and there's a lot of articles about vintage players and they even had a special section on um, an old timer you know like Joe Jim Thorpe or Christy Matthewson um, and other sports too so it vintage brings back a lot of memories and um, here's a few other cards um, so like the 68 game card set I have my great my grandfather my great grandfather's son, my grandfather, he, uh, his name was Stook, and, uh, or his nickname was Stook. Um, that kind of got transposed down the generations, but he, uh, bought me a box of 1968 Tops cards, and I just sat in the, his front porch, opened cards that afternoon, and chewed a lot of gum. Had to chew the gum, barely threw it away, and I, I didn't eat the gum, gum. I chewed it till it, didn't taste good anymore and then there come the next one um, so here's a few other cards vintage cards that I like A lot, of the, a lot of those cards are my generation. I st started in 1967, but I knew Tony Kubek because he did Game of the Week, and uh, along with uh, Joe Garagiola. I remember Sandy Koufax and uh, Pee Wee Reese doing games. Kurt Gowdy, that voice is, you know, just iconic as anything. And um, we even had Price Guide back in the early 80s. Um, that's the one that I'll show you coming up along with um, the other reason I like vintage. My dad um, had a collection of exhibit cards and I still have that and I'm building on that collection as most of you know. Um, and uh, you know I just like seeing all these players. This set I'm working on has you know just about any Hall of Famer you want to think of from the 40s, 50s, 60s, and his set that I'm collecting ended in 1966. I started in 1967, kind of a coincidence there, but um, it's a key transition period for my collection. And um, here's the price guide I was talking about, and a couple of my dad's cards, and um, 
that's why I like vintage. And um, check out uh, James Elite Hunter's channel. Check out the VR. You may want to do it. You may want to do why you like new cards. Check out VDK. Um, so hope everybody enjoyed it. And you know, like they say, collect what you like and like what you collect. Enjoy the hobby. Thanks.